The Antigua Forum 2020 was an amazing experience. This is one of the most incredible gatherings with thought leaders from around the world and powerful projects that all come together to cultivate and create and accelerate new ideas. Eric Lustrum is the founder of Watson Institute and Educate. He was named one of the Forbes 30 social entrepreneurs under 30 and also an Ashoka Fellow because of his education projects. He has reached more than 50,000 students in different parts of the world, especially focused on East Africa. Hi, Eric. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks, Monica. How are you? Fine. Thank you. We are so glad to have you here. It's a pleasure to be here. I would like to start saying that you could be named as a change maker in education. And I would like to start asking you a question. How this passion for education started in your life? Definitely. It's a great question. Um, it goes back to 2002 when I applied to Amnesty International uh, to do a project in, East, um, in Western Uganda in a refugee community specifically. Um, and I was only 17 years old at the time. So Amnesty International probably wisely rejected me for this scholarship, but I decided to go on my own. And as a 17-year-old, ended up alone by myself in a completely new place, a refugee settlement in Western Uganda. And during that month that I was there, which I still remember like it was yesterday, I met an incredible group of young refugees who come from the Congo, from Sudan, from different parts of Africa. And I got to learn about their vision, their vision for their countries, their vision for their lives. And they were determined to bring peace and prosperity back to their countries and really solve the problems that had forced them to flee across the border into this refugee community. And I asked what I learned later is a simple but powerful question, which is, I'm only a 17-year-old at the time, but is there anything I can do to help? And they said something that really surprised me. Um, they said the best way to help our community and the best way to help our country is to help us receive an education. Because with an education, we will be able to better solve these problems. We'll be able to become the leaders, the entrepreneurs who can bring peace and prosperity back to our countries. And that changed my whole understanding of what an education is meant to be and is all about. Um, education is not just going to secondary school so you can go to university so you can get a job. Education is about an investment in the next generation of leaders and entrepreneurs that will pay off for the rest of, of, of society and really start to change the world. Eric, through your experience, can you let us understand what is the connection between entrepreneurial education, mentorship, and economic development? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, the connection between entrepreneurial education, mentorship, and economic development is really fundamental and important. And what we've learned over the years is that young leaders and entrepreneurs each have their own unique individual path to change the world. So you can't teach someone a step-by-step -step process to change the world, by definition, because we're creating a new world. So there's no roadmap or step-by-step -step instructions for how to do so. So rather than a curriculum that gives people those instructions, we've learned the power of mentorship. And for us, mentorship is really the active ingredient, the core fundamental element of each one of our programs. And the reason is, is because it actually is tailored to the specific challenges that the young leaders and entrepreneurs we work with are facing. So mentors help our students to understand the path that they are on currently, the path they are meant to be on, and then, it, then work through the challenges that they're inevitably going to face along the way. Mm -hmm. What are the core characteristics of a, a mentor, a good mentor? Yeah, um, the core characteristics of a good mentor is really someone who can see the students in a new light, and help them reveal something that was there all along, but they weren't able to recognize it because maybe they don't have the experience, the knowledge, the background, or maybe they just need the mentor to serve as a mirror so that they can better see themselves. And I think a good mentor is able to do that by listening well, by drawing from their own experience while not prescribing their own experience, to someone else because their experience by definition is, is different than the experiences that the student they're working with is going to have.
but still drawing on their own experience to inspire and inform some of their conversations. And ultimately, a good mentor will, will truly empower someone, will give them more power, more potential, more capability to live the life they're meant to lead, to go through the challenges that they're facing, and ultimately to find success, to find fulfillment, and really change the world. Can you let us know a little bit of your experience specifically in Antigua Forum? You had just been in this great Antigua Forum 2020, and uh, I could love to understand how was this experience for you? My actual experience at the Antigua Forum did indeed surpass my expectations. Uh, and that's because we learned about new projects um, that have ambitious visions for the world. And the forum, the format of the Antigua Forum actually connects these thought leaders who can play a mentorship or an advisory role with these projects that are either just getting started or you know, some way along in their journey to really accelerate the impact that they can have. And the outcomes um, that, that I saw have, always, have already been incredible. I would like to ask you a last question regarding Watson Institute. Uh, we know that because of this connection through the Antigua Forum Network, uh, we have the opportunity to expand the Watson Institute influence in the world, and you are running the first Watson Institute outside the USA, which is exactly here at UFM in Guatemala. Can you let us know a little bit of what is Watson Institute and how it can impact uh, Guatemala and other persons and regions through this initiative of, of doing the first this summer? Absolutely. So I read recently that this generation could be the first generation in the history of humanity that sees the end of extreme poverty, the transition to 100% renewable energy, and a world in which every child has access to a quality education worldwide. This could be the generation that sees that world. And so Watson Institute aims to accelerate our transition into that world by developing young leaders and entrepreneurs. And the way that we do that is by running programs in partnership with leading institutions, leading universities, specifically universities that have played a fundamental role in a community or in a society. Um, the presence of that institution has had a transformative effect on, on, on that country, on that region, which is what originally led us to, to UFM. And after running programs in Boulder, Colorado, and South Florida, um, we have, were looking internationally for a first university partner and the power of the Antigua Forum network really came through when before the Antigua Forum even started, uh, the Antigua Forum team, Wayne specifically, introduced us, Monica and I, to talk about partnership between Watson Institute and UFM. And very quickly, the ideas for that partnership were solidified. And we've now hired the team and are getting ready to launch Watson Institute at UFM this summer with the goal of empowering young leaders, young entrepreneurs from Guatemala, from UFM, but also around Central America and, and even beyond, um, with a powerful program that helps accelerate their careers and their impact in the world. We are trying to remember what it means to be human, and uh, that I think is something that the Antigua Forum and the Liberty Movement are also deeply engaged in.